This three minutes is about cities and towns across Canada. Before we get into it, please subscribe. You know the drill. Subscribe and give us a donation because we got to keep on the air because you aren't getting the straight goods from the mainstream media. We aren't paid by the Prime Minister's office. My guest today is Mark Keeley. He's usually talking about federal politics, but I heard him give a lecture recently and it was about municipalities. And he deals with municipalities around the world, Europe, Mexico, South America. And you were telling people that Canadians do not pay sufficient attention to towns and villages and municipalities, cities. I'll tell you, Stephen, the municipal government is the most intimate government for anybody anywhere, but it's by far the most remote. Nobody cares. When you say remote, okay, so it impacts people the most. Yes, it does. Why? Well, it's sewers, water, uh, uh, hydro, um, uh, uh, your garbage pickup, police, uh, fire, all of the essential roads, services, yeah. roads, all the essential services that we need, a city provides. Okay, and we pay a lot more attention to the federal government and provincial government than municipalities. So the federal government gets all the attention because it's cool. The provincial government gets all the attention because it's, it's close to home. Municipal government gets nothing. And so there's a problem with that because I, I'm, in my thesis, I'd say that the people are getting away with everything or the, it's the power of incumbency. If you're a member of a, of a local council, you're never gonna lose. You're there for, for that, that's the biggest cash for life. Never mind the Senate of Canada, it's a municipal politician. And so you were saying in this, uh, in this lecture, I heard you know, reviews of it, that for instance, in Mexico, the, the mayor of Mexico City is a huge, huge power. Sure, and, and it's not just Mexico City. There's, there are, there are uh, the, the mayor of Paris, the mayor of, yeah. of Beijing, the mayor of Shanghai. Big, big, you know, big uh, city mayors with big issues and uh, good councils. But let me just go to your point. What they do in those countries is they limit their terms. It's transformative. So if you think about it, you say, I'm, I've got a limit, uh, my, my term is limited, so therefore I've got to do things. In, in, in Canada, and it's much like the United States do, it's not, there's no term limits for municipal politicians. And this is a big issue because I think people just, you know, they can, there, there's not a lot of accountability because not a lot of people are paying attention. And if you don't, if you don't like what I'm saying, you know, then, then, then go to a municipal council meeting the only time that any, uh, anybody shows up is if there's a contentious issue, and yeah. it's usually a, a, a development. Yeah, it's not in my backyard. So tell me then, you've explained why Canadians should pay more attention to municipal governments, and then how should they pay attention? Because sometimes it's really quite mundane what's going on. As you say, you know, I don't want that two-story house over beside mine. So I, my comment, and I've said this to people who are running now uh, in, in, in any municipal election, is we need serious people. And there are not a lot of serious people that are putting their hats in the ring. I'll tell you what a good, I'll tell you a good town, Clarington. That's a great council with a great mayor and great members of its council. Those guys are engaged. They do things. They're very effective. And I, I look at other, the, the Cornwall, a great city with a great mayor. With they're, and they're, civic responsibility. And there are a lot more that, that they'll say, well, you know what? I, was, uh, I, I, I became a, a, a local politician because I lost by being a provincial member or a federal member. Ah. Those are big issues. Big cities. Mark Healy, thanks a lot. Three minutes and a few minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.